Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate creating a Visio project file. So to do that, go to Start, Projects, Manage Projects. You select the project that you want to work with and check it out from the server. And then you can click right here to create a new Visio file or down here in the Files tab, there's a new uh, button. Again, you can choose to create a Visio drawing or you can right click and open in Visio new drawing. And that's going to open up this new Visio drawing form where you're going to be able to select your template. If you're using Visio 2013 or 2016, um, you're going to be creating a VSTX file, uh, or if for some reason you wanted to go back to a legacy VST uh, template, you certainly could. But if you're running um, Visio 2010 um, or less, you would select this option here and then choose from those templates. Now, um, we recommend a minimum of Visio 2010 uh, just because of our wire shapes. If you're using Visio 2013 or Visio 2007, uh, most of our shapes will work, uh, but quite a few won't because we take advantage of some of the features that are in later versions of Visio. So I'll go ahead and just select a size here, and you'll see that it automatically names the drawing. Of course, you can change that if you would like. Um, it's defaulting to go into the Visio um, folder, if you will. Um, that's for when you're managing your files uh, for a project. And if you'd like your company logo from the company information under the control panel to populate on the Visio template, go ahead and check this box here. Hit OK, and that's going to go ahead and launch Visio. The first time you launch a Visio file, you're going to be prompted to download uh, stencils from the uh, SI2016 server, or the DTOL server, I should say. Go ahead and do that. You're going to want to do that so all of the uh, stencils come down with the shapes. And this is going to just take about a minute or so to download these files, and um, we'll come back once they're downloaded. Once the stencil's downloaded, um, the Visio interface will open, and you can see here there's different tabs along the bottom for the uh, four different page types that we do. Line uh, diagrams, elevation uh, diagrams, plan views, and schematic views. Over on the left-hand side, uh, you'll see this Details SI26 uh, 2016 section and over here it lists your uh, products and here are the stencils that were just downloaded and these list all of the uh, shapes for the various pages. Um, what also opens with this interface is the project editor and if you click the Visio icon along your taskbar you'll see that there is a project editor associated with this and we'll open that up and this is where all the products are for this particular project and uh, me being on one screen here I'll just shrink that down a little bit and you can drag and drop products from the project editor directly over to your Visio pages. And uh, that is how you create a Visio project file. We'll go into uh, more details of these individual pages and how to create them in other videos.